What's up? It's your boy Madman24, and today I'm doing another Hex Bug Battle Bots review, and it is probably going to be my favorite. I'm hy hypothesizing. Today we are doing Bronco vs. Witch Doctor Rivals Kit. So just to quickly take a look at the box, you can definitely see the robots are well made, well, well showed it, shown in this. I definitely say this is the first time they're not in the exploded kind of view, where like the pieces are flying off. This is more of like a contemporary design. At the bottom, you got the remotes for Witch Doctor and Bronco. On the back, you got a demonstration of the remote. You got the arena. Now this set doesn't come with the arena. You got little descriptions of each robot. If you want to pause the video right now and give them a little read, go ahead and do that. I won't stop you. If you don't want to read, then we're going to continue with the unboxing. So first I got to try to find the opening part. Um, here's one. But what I do like on the sides is that each robot is kind of featured on each side. Like the side they're mentioned on, like Witch Doctor's on Witch Doctor's side and Bronco's on Bronco's side. And their remotes are respectively named. Now you don't need to keep these remotes labeled as Bronco and Witch Doctor. They will work with any kind of channel, just as long as you don't have them on the same channel. And here we go. <laughs> So here they are in their well, like box kind of form. They are definitely big boxes or big bots. On the bottom, you got these little twist things. I don't know what that does. But all in all, let's get off all this tape. Get off the covers for the remotes. That's one remote. And that is two remotes. As you can see, the remote is respectively named with the Hexbug logo and the BattleBots logo at the top. You got your forward, you got your backward, you got your side side. And on the top, you got your button to activate the weapon, which is definitely useful for these bots. Now I'm going to see how am I going to get these bots out of here. So I guess I'm going to have to turn these little pods over here. It's going to take me a minute. So if you want to speed ahead, go ahead, be my guest. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, I think I got Witch Doctor. Yeah, I got Witch Doctor. Take off the little rubber band. That's a rubber band off there. Tab off the bottom. Now, let's see. You got your little ribs on Witch Doctor. I definitely like the fact that they added the ribs, because in Season 3, the ribs were all the rage on Witch Doctor. As you can definitely see, the drum has kind of like little eyes and the teeth. The wedge will also come off with a certain amount of force. And they didn't add the little lip in the front. It's more of the offensive wedge than the defensive wedge that they use in the show. If you watch BattleBots, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. But here is a Witch Doctor fully assembled. If I can somehow get these ribs on correct. So keep, keep in mind, this is the first time I'm opening these bots. So I have really never, like, touched these bots by hand. Oh, there we go. I got it locked in. I like that they added the little self-writing mechanism to the bot, because that's just super cool. It's not automated, sadly, because this is a piece that will pop off. But it is cool that when you get into the innards of the bot, you can see the mechanisms... You can see like the gears, the batteries, the motherboard. That's cool. 
on the bottom, you got your power switch, and you got some legal... So, how does Witch Doctor drive? I don't know. Let's let reality decide. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. The drum looks so cool. I am so excited for this. Another thing that I like is that they added the, um, like, the logos for Vex Robotics and Girl Power, the kind of things that Andrea Suarez of Witch Doctor controls. They got the Max Amps logo on this side. Anyway, let's see. How does this work? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, Witch Doctor is so fast. Oh, wow. It is... This thing is really fast. This thing is ridiculously fast. I don't know how I'm going to control this in an actual fight. Anyway, the back the back part fell off because that's one of the pieces that falls off. So let's get a glimpse of what Witch Doctor would look like without all of its armor. So the armor that comes off, you got your front wedge which is definitely detailed perfectly with a little skeleton hand. I totally love that. And that'll go kind of on the front here. On the back, you got this little back panel, which you can kind of use to push people around. And then on finally, you got your ribs with your self-writing mechanism. That is this. I love this witch doctor so much. Witch doctor is my personal favorite bot. And they just made it a billion times better. Congratulations, Hexbug. You've done right. Oh, dang it. didn't shut off. Okay, there we go. Bot shut off. Now let's move on to the Horse of Pneumatic Force. Again, this is going to take me a minute, so if you want to skip ahead, I won't blame you. That's one tab, and that is two tabs. Broncos revealed, tabs gone. Oh, this is going to take a little bit more strength. Never mind, it's not. Okay, top rubber band uh, off the wheels. Oh, wow, the flipper just popped up right when I took it off. So you can definitely see this kind of has the same physique as your actual Bronco. Let's turn him on. Okay, front wheels moved. He's good. Okay, so the flipper is loaded. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Oh, that's dope. How about a third time just for the views? Do it for the views, boy. I love this. Okay, let's see how he drives. Okay. He's a very wide swinger. His, okay, this is a kind of a four-wheel drive kind of... Oh, there goes the camera. Say hi to Bronco, everybody. This is a kind of a wide swinger, so you're going to need some momentum with this. But I'd say the powerful weapon will definitely make up for it. And just for comparison, just for kicks and giggles, let's see if it can flip Witch Doctor. Okay, I got it on the side in three, two, one. Oh, wow! The bot split! That was cool! It flipped Witch Doctor like it was nothing. Now, I so wish the self-writing mechanism worked on this, because it would totally be needed. But just for kicks and giggles, for again. Let's do it from the front view. I I gotta see this again. This is this is cool. This is so cool. Let's move Bronco back so you can get a good view of Witch Doctor getting flipped over. That's just awesome! I mean, are you not entertained by this? We have an actual flipper in BattleBot. 
This is so cool. I gotta say, I am impressed with Bronco. Oh, let me put Witch Doctor back together and put her out of the way. Okay, front top plate. There's that. And the back wedge. Okay, Witch Doctor, you're going to go back over here for a minute, and we're going to see how Bronco kind of matches up with everything. Okay, so his two front plates come off. That's good. And you got a back wedge on here. Again, you got more logos and sponsors on here. Oh, I just feel. Oh, check this out. If you look closely, you can see the face of a bull on the flipper. You got the little arrows indicating, like, this is where the flipper's going to hit. So let's see Bronco completely bare. That is cool. Just for more kicks and giggles, let's see if it can self-right itself. Okay. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Again, I got to see this again. Awesome. So if I had a friend right now, I would totally be battling. But since I don't, I am going to give my full thoughts on this right here and now. I don't know how to, like, describe these. I am I'm in utter shock. Bronco, amazing design. Witch Doctor, great, great stuff. I don't know how to say this, but I think I just found my two new favorite battle bots. This is absolutely amazing. If I had to say my pros and cons for each robot, the pro for Witch Doctor is that it's amazingly detailed, but another con is that it's very hard to control it because it's very, very squirrely. Like, it's so, like, hard to control. I mean, I almost drove it off the table. That was, that was insane. And Bronco, again, you have a very powerful weapon. Again, another problem is this is a little bit harder to drive because this is four-wheel control. So, yeah, Bronco, a con with this is you got a little bit of driving issues. But it definitely makes up for it in the long running because you have a freaking flipper. How awesome is that? I am very impressed with these robots. So, do I recommend these? Should you buy these? Do I even have to say from my reaction in this video? Yes, you should. I'm not saying you have to spend all your money to get these. These are about $49 for the Rivals pack, but it's still very, very cool. If you can afford it and you want to spend your money on BattleBots, go ahead and spend your money on BattleBots. No one is going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. This has been yet another Hexbug BattleBots review, and I got to say, this has been one of the best ones. Witch Doctor, great design. Bronco, powerful weapon. I don't know what else to say. Great job, Hexbug. You did amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a long video, but it's been a fun video. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for watching.